morning. I'm Chaplain Holmquist, and my resiliency thought this morning is about spiritual resiliency. Now, before you tell yourself, hey, Chaplain, that's not about me, I have a story for you. So when I was stationed at Osan, Korea, which was my last assignment, I would do the newcomer's briefing. And in the newcomer's briefing, I would ask the airmen how many of them are unaccompanied. Well, most of them raised their hand because it is an unaccompanied assignment. And so then I asked them, will you be talking to anybody back home? And most of them raised their hand because they have family or they're in a relationship or they're dating, but they have someone who they'll communicate back in the States. So I told them, I've got the topic for you. And it was always on a Friday we do the newcomers. And I told them, here's the topic you can talk about. You tell your significant other that Chapman Holmquist said you're spiritual. Now, I know that might be funny, and it is kind of humorous to me a little bit, but here's where I'm going at. The Joint Chiefs of Staff Instruction 3405.1 says spirituality is what gives us value, purpose, and meaning in life. What gives us value, purpose, and meaning in life. See, something gives you purpose in your life. Something helps you put one foot in front of the other to be able to get out the door. What is that? What I've learned being a chaplain for so many years is that many young people don't know what gives them value, purpose, and meaning in life. They haven't thought about it. They're busy with life, busy with college, busy with the Air Force, and they just haven't stopped and thought about it. But what I want to do is I'm challenging you to think about it. What gives you value, purpose, and meaning in life? Because that's very, very important because sometimes bad things happen to good people. I've been deployed before, and you may have also, when all kinds of things didn't go well at home. There was a garage door that would stay open and not go down, which upset my wife. The dishwasher broke, and then my little daughter went ahead and petted a stray cat. It bit her, and my wife thought it had rabies. And that was the first week of my deployment. And this was stressing me out. And so whatever grounds you, I hope that you think about it and it can be anything. And so after you start realizing what gives you value, purpose, and meaning in life, then you have to ask yourself, what do I have that helps me through those difficult times? What gives me that value? And I hope that there are many different resources that give you those values. And it can be anything. It could be a hobby. It could be your family. It could be the Air Force. It can be your pet. It can be your faith. It might not be your faith but there can be a variety of different resources that are in your life. Think about it. Where would you reach out if you had difficult times? Don't wait and wonder if it's coming. It's gonna come. It's just a matter of time. Think through what your resources are now so that you're ready for what we call the bang, when something that is not happy happens to you. Lastly, one, you think about what gives you value, purpose, and meaning in life. Two, you have a lot of resources, but to complete what I call the spiritual resiliency cycle is you have to have good connectability. Good connectability. And here's a for instance. Let's say, hypothetically, I can buy you any vehicle you want. Anyone. I'll pay for the insurance, I'll pay for the car, I'll pay for any mechanical problems that car has for the rest of its life. Let's say it's a Mustang. I own a Mustang, and I buy it for you, okay? I have the keys and the title, and they're waiting in my office at the chapel. It's all yours, but you never go get the car. Is it your resource? No. That's what I'm trying to make a point. What gives you value, purpose, and meaning in life? How many resources do you have? And do you have good connectability? I promise you, if you think through this spiritual resiliency cycle, you will see that it will benefit you greatly so that you're ready for the storm. Not only ready for the storm, but that you can persevere through it and you can grow from it. I appreciate you. Have a great day.